terror ribs. The ribs of terror. Okay, I'm just gonna move away from the other guy and start calling in a uh, bot. Domi uh, trying to dominate these guys. Fidelius, the born. There we go. Anyway, I hope what I was saying makes sense. Basically, Del Toro's an idiot. He he's inadvertently using outdated. Yeah. Um, well, he's demonizing, he's infantilizing, he's being racist, he's being sexist against both pale men and non-pale men and non-pale non-men. He's being bigoted against all these groups in, in their own way. And he's a bit of an idiot. And, but he's doing it for, well, he's presumably doing it for well-intentioned mean reasons, but he's being an idiot regardless. And even if you disagree with my other breakdowns of it, he, you can, I'm sure we can both agree on he's being infantilizing and demonizing, uh, depending on the group. The other stuff is just like how it kind of comes off to me, and I, I can just never phrase it right. Um, it just it just always sounds wrong to me, whatever way I word it. Um, but yeah, it just comes off as all those ways to me, if that makes sense. That's just what I'm always trying to say. And it's just like, again, since this is some conversation we could bounce off of, I'm waiting, f you know, over a year for you to be able to respond to this. Um, that, that's why I keep reiterating it. Because I have no idea if I make the slightest ounce of sense until, unless you respond in a year's time. That's why I get nervous. I have social anxiety disorder, for those who don't know. I have a list of ailments. Uh, social anxiety disorder, depression, OCD... Uh, Chupacabra disease. No, I... Not the last one, as far as I know. I probably also have fibromyalgia, but that's a different case altogether. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've a few different things, and um, it just... It's a fucking pain. But yeah, it just... What was my point? I got on a tangent there. My, my memory can be like a sieve sometimes. Um... And sometimes saying my mind's like a sieve will cause me to forget. But yes, I was, you know, social anxiety disorder, which doesn't help. You know, I you may feel awkward talk, recording, talking, trying to make a point. Social anxiety disorder makes that even worse, basically is my point. So yes. Court belt. Uh, increases stun and block recovery. But yes, basically, um, you, just talking here like this is awkward. Social anxiety disorder makes it more awkward. So if trying to make a point that's awkward like this, is made more awkward by the fact that you can't see the person nodding like uh-huh uh-huh I agree with you I disagree uh, this is my perspective this is my point you can't get any of that via video it, it's fixed up when you stream but even then that requires someone to actually watch you in your streams <laughs> uh, I haven't tried streaming yet uh, maybe by the time this has come out I will but as of yet I haven't um, as of time recording I haven't so anyway 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 Skill point. I'm sure I made sense anyway with what I was saying. Um, I have run past what I was saying by at least my mom, and she said I was at least coherent. So I'll, you know, I'll, I'll take that as I was coherent. Um, alrighty then. I am very tempted in grabbing and, you know, increased health stuff. Um,. Though the one issue with it is I would have to pop my way through... Um, I would have to... Sorry, put a point into life first. And that would be... Well, that's not a, an issue. It's just I'll prefer to... Um, well, I would have put a point into intelligence first. Uh, and it's not an issue, but it's just I'll prefer to go put it straight into extra life. Because it just feels so long between level ups. Even though I've leveled up twice, it's sad. Then again, how many hours have I been playing? Well, it's currently three, so I've been probably playing for like two hours. Three hours? Three hours. So I leveled up twice in three hours, and considering I'm a level 52 now, then again, I was already a fair bit to level 50, wasn't I? Level, let's say level and a half. Not bad. Considering I have to get a few million XP per level. It's pretty good. 
might make level 100 anyway. So, yes, um, let us get, you know what, fuck it, we'll get a point of intelligence. I'll be getting another po uh, po skill point in a moment anyway, uh, when I get the other thing down. And those almost look like sci-fi greaves, uh, sci-fi boots, because of the blue hue on the side, it looks like, uh, you know, lights. So I kind of like it. The mahogany tower... That's better. That's on par, but it's un un unidentified as of yet, so it could actually be superior, but it doesn't have the stuff all linked up, so it's going to be ignored. Baleful Gem. The withering glare of corruption made, corpor uh, made corporeal and pallid pellucid in the crystal. The withering glare of corruption made corporeal and pallid in crystal. That's a word I not have to try to say before. Uh, well, I probably said it on the first time true. Tried to say it before on the first time true, but honestly, I don't almost recognize it. I bequeath this transmuter device to you, Inquisitor Maligaro, in recognition of your devotion to our sublime art. May it be the chariot that conveys your dreams into reality. Malachi, Thaumaturge Laureate to the Empire. Laureate. There is a title I remember learning about in Irish, uh, I was going to say mythology, but no, Irish history. Um, I can't remember the guy's name now. Um, he was an American, he got a big name in Irish history, I don't remember. Um, I keep wanting to say DeWitt, but that's not him. Uh, he, he's busy, you know, wiping away the death. Um, um, but he declared some diplomats something, well they're diplomat something, and I keep on saying it's diplomat laureate, but no, I think it's something else, but basically it meant that they didn't have to come back and get his permission, but he gave them contradicting orders, that they had to, that they had to this authority, but had to get his permission, so the British were able to use this to force them to make a decision, which allowed him to storm out and have a temper tantrum, because he didn't get his way. So, the history class was clearly not the biggest fan of him. Clearly. Is there anything of interest over this side? I don't think so. Huh. Just like a sofa cushion stopping us from approaching. And didn't we get a bit of uh, lore here about this guy? Maybe we get it when we talk to her. To damnation with piety. She was after one of Meligaro's creations, the Baleful Gem. You have it. Good. It's something that wicked woman must never get her hands on. You've seen the encampment on top of the dam. Bring the baleful gem and meet me there. My days with the Ebony Legion are done. To damnation with piety. Really? We don't get it? I, I really wanted to hear it again. Because, you know, it's a very interesting little bit of flavor. Or maybe we'll have to go to a certain place to hear it. Like, it's a certain thing. Um, is there a way of actually tracking these? You're hearing them at another time. Probably not, and it's definitely not in here. Apparently I missed some optional uh, stuff in Act 1. Well, in all the acts. Only bits, and I didn't realize. No loose ends. I... There's three extra side quests in Cruel difficulty? Interesting. Then compared to normal. I didn't know that. Oko Master. Tag each waypoint in each difficulty as one character. Eh. Get to 90 as a hardcore character. 
eight, he's a hardcore. Yeah, probably not gonna be doing damn. You've seen me die. You've seen me play, I probably wouldn't do it. Have its skill gem reached twenty. Overcharged. Uh, have 15 combined endurance, frenzy, and power charges active simultaneously. Create an item with 6 linking slots using an orb of fusing. Paradigm shift. Locate a. No, no, allocate a keystone passive skill. I thought he did that. Traitor. Help all three banded wards. No. Uh, open a large chest. Ancestral power have three totems open at once. Zombie horde have nine. Elemental agus. Uh, dream within a dream. Oh, I have a unique map drop within a unique map. Can't clear the catacombs. Ooh, specialist. Okay, the character's fourth keystone passive. Doesn't seem like there's a way to replay the older stuff. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, that's, that's annoying. I really wanted to hear that st stuff again uh, about his thing to Fidelius. But fair enough. If that, if I, that, if it can't be heard, it can't be heard. Okay, move around. Welcome. Life flows through the blood. Let's slip the blood, and the life will continue in a new form. You will kill a powerful monster whose blood takes on a new form. It can only be completed on cruel difficulty. So if I pop into normal difficulty at any stage, I can fight those brothers of necromancy. Hmm. Alright. The Oriathan girl. She is alive. She wants to stay with us, not to go back to her people. I say we take your traitor's heart to the chief. Ask that the warriors in black leave us be. I sleep less, but no more, thanks to you. Elena gave me these. Use it. Or cast it away. I do not care. I have no time for Helena's breed of peace. Travel far. <laughs> Probably only saying travel far so I get the fuck away from him. <sighs> I love you too, mate. Topaz flask. I I don't know these flasks in the slightest. Um. Ah, okay, I'm gonna try one of the new ones. The bismuth sounds cool. The topaz looks cool. I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the ruby. I have no use for Helena's kind of peace. Uh huh. Rocks and water. They move and live like monkey and viper. They die like monkey and viper too. There is no heart to see, but there is a heart to stab, if you can find it with your spear. But if you have sword, you are fucked. Excellent. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't think I ever really said my point earlier, did I? Um... What? It, it's funny about uh, uh, Gareth. Uh, what's this guy's character's name again? Gannet. Gannet uh, complaining about a guy pretending to be a god or with delusions of godhood. Considering in the next in the expansion, we will kill gods and take their power for our own. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Though, t where can we go after that? You know. We killed gods. Where can we go from there? Where can we go from there? Ooh, 
I like that. Meaning, I'm going to pop that in there. It heals more. No, you know what? We'll do that. It's better. Ah, yeah. Fuck it. It's better. It is a new deck. You did it. You captured the Blackguard. But her head is too pretty to put in a tree. When she's well, I will ask her for Blackguard's secrets. Do not fear. She will do this. Females like to do things for Silk. He's saying that sounds creepy, but at the same time, it's just like, I'm good looking. People like to do things for me. Girls like me because I'm good looking, kind of thing. But at the same time, it does sound kind of creepy. I think it's mainly the voice acting. Maybe the use of females, but. Uh. The Coco Manny of Manny Way. The spirit is strong in Felshrine. You touch the stones, you will feel it. They spoke to me, those stones. Told me to take their altar and to find the hand of a good man. He lived in that church, as you call it. The altar is his, and it will wake when he touches it once more. You could find the good man. Bring me his hand. When the spirit of the altar awakes, I will share it with you. I promise. Uh huh. Helena is healing. I make sure of that. But you want to know if you can trust her. I see her spirit. It was born good and needs work to keep it that way. Much like yours. Gonna be honest, talk like that makes Helena sound much more important than she is. She's talked of here, then forgot. That's one issue I would levy at a lot of, um, well, at Grim Dawn and this game. Diablo 3 actually manages to avoid it. Um, like, it, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of Diablo 3, but I will levy compliments at it where I see them being deserved. Um, like, I'm not one to contact, well, I don't like this game, so it's terrible. It's Cray ripping off something else. It's blah, 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 blah. No, that's not me. Um, if I see a compliment the game deserves, I'll I'll give it to it. If I uh, and that also goes to people. If I don't like a person, I will be much harsher towards them. I'll take a more dimmer view of their stuff. But if they are, if if for example, I don't like Jim Sterling in the slightest. I think the guy's a cunt. But. As to saying that, there's a lawsuit going out. He, like, criticized some games, and he was quite harsh. The games are also quite shit, from what I'm hearing. And he criticized them as such, um, as bad. And the devs are trying to sue him now. Um, they, I, I'm taking his side here and says they shouldn't sue him. It's stupid. Yes, he criticized them harshly. Make better games next time. Though, of course, uh, opinions are subjective. Even if they made a better game, he still mightn't like them. But, you know, I think their games were... I don't want to say objective, uh, objective, objectively, I don't want to say that, but they were poor. From what I remember hearing. So, yeah. Um... I don't remember what I was going to say. I'm after completely blanking. Oh yes, um, but yeah, basically, like, if he's right, you know, I'll, you know like, he's like he was in the right there. And even though I utterly hate his guts, I will acknowledge that, and I will actually be taking his side on the matter. The same goes with games, you know? I'll give Diablo 3 the credit it deserves when I see it deserving credit. Um, th th this game and Grim Dawn will have you with a faction, you'll do a fair bit quests for them, and then you'll move on. Like, for example, with, Devil's Cro uh, with Grim Dawn, you're with Devil's Crossing for the first... I don't want to say five hours, but you're with them for the first good few hours.